Hey y'all, I um, wanted to tell you why I am never again going to use our KitchenAid mixer, and it's a pretty good mixer. I'm never going to use it again for grinding meat, raw meat. Um, so about a year ago or so, we wanted to grind some up, um, make some hamburger meat, some ground beef. My my mom actually had a grinder that she liked and she let us use, but it was pretty clear that that one was not sufficient. So I I had the, the idea that with this mixer having a nice heavy duty motor and it works really well that, um, and having the attachment here on the front that, that perhaps um, using it as a grinder would work well. And the KitchenAid grinder attachment was uh, prohibitively expensive. There were a number I found on Amazon that did not have very good reviews, but this one had excellent reviews and the price on it wasn't terrible. So I ordered this one and, and it came in. And so about a week ago, I decided to break it out and use it. And it worked really really well um it i, I used uh, used the mixture here on a, on a low speed i think i didn't really put it past two and it ground everything up nicely and uh, so now we have i don't know 20 or 30 pounds of ground beef in the freezer so this was excellent this this performed well the problem we had was that um well this morning in spite of my efforts to clean this and and I'm man, I cleaned this thing really well. Got every bit of blood I could find and and wiped it down and cleaned it two or three times. But this morning, this awful, awful smell coming from the closet where we keep this thing and um and when I went to investigate the smell was definitely coming from the grinder. So I opened it up and the top here was uh, quite full of blood and of course then there were lovely little maggots swimming around and all kinds of lovely stuff. I spent a number of years uh, in law enforcement and have worked a lot of death scenes and seen a lot of dead bodies and unpleasant odors and this was right up there with the worst of them. Um, so apparently inside of here some of the, the blood leaked back. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but but you know that that's not a great seal there. It's not watertight. And so the blood leaked back and got inside there. So um I've now cleaned this, cleaned it all out. It took quite a while. Um some 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 paper towels and about I don't know about a hundred q tips and some cleaner. I'm going to show you how to take this apart and clean it if you happen to have this issue, but I would not ever recommend using that anymore as a meat grinder. Now, the screws on this are all a uh, number two square. You, it looks like it's a combo. We could, we could also use a Phillips head, but I would not trust those little Phillips ridges. I would use get a number two square bit. I don't know if you can see this, but this is one here. If you're going to use a, an impact drill like this, use it on its lowest setting. And don't, um, especially when you're putting it back together, don't over tighten anything. You don't want to strip these screws out. So the first thing you got to do is remove this screw in the back. And that will let you take off this ring here comes off nicely just set it aside put your screw somewhere where you're not going to lose it and now you're going to have four screws two on each side here that will have to come out you can use a, a, a regular screwdriver if you have a number two bit for one I prefer using my Milwaukee cordless impact driver
I like Milwaukee's tools. Everybody has their favorite. DeWalder's good too. So is Makita. I just like red and black. Now you're going to work the, once you have those four screws there, you're going to work this top part loose. You're going to pull it off. And you're going to set it aside. And I'll show you here in just a second uh, where all the blood was and, and how difficult it was to actually get it out. I also ended up removing these two screws here. They are also a number two square bit, and the screws are identical to these. So um, you don't have to worry about mixing those up. And the one that goes in the back is much, much smaller. So again, you're not going to have to worry about that. Um, yeah, this comes out here, and then your little control uh, panel control box here is just going to lift off. There's a chance you might have to take the whole thing out. I, I didn't. Uh, I was able to work around it. You might need some longer screws. Let me just go ahead and grab the camera and you can see better what I'm talking about. So when I first pulled it off, this area here was the first thing I saw and it was full right up to the very edge with blood and maggots swimming everywhere in it and blood all around here and down in there. And that's you know, it's gonna start raining. I'll do this very quickly. You got to clean way down inside there. There was blood way down inside there. So long Q-tips helped a whole lot. Be careful with any cleaner you use. You have electronic stuff here. Ammonia will corrode those connections. You don't want to do that. And again, had to get way down here. Now inside here, this is kind of hollow and blood can get inside there. That was a trick to get it out. But I was able to do so without taking this off. And once I had it all clean, there was some blood in the base, and I just soaked it in some water up to about here or so. And then this thing just goes back together in reverse order. It goes back together very nicely. And um, and I got it clean, and now it's going to be usable again. But it took me about an hour and a half. And I, because of how just disgusting it was, like I said, loved this thing. I'll use it for grinding other stuff, but I am not going to use it. This again, as a grinder for raw meat. Lesson learned. Y'all have a great day.